Grant Cardone might sue me, but I'm not too worried because I found a leaked tape that goes against his plan pretty hard. Now, I want to first show you the clip of Grant Cardone saying that he's going to sue all the haters, the clickbaiters, the trolls, he says. Uh, here it is. That, that clickbait, bold title, has to be stopped by these podcasters, YouTubers, and fake media companies. It's got to be stopped. How is he going to do it? Ladies and gentlemen, he decided to sue people. Um, this is a post he put out. He sued John Legere, I guess is his name. He is the uh, ex-CEO of T-Mobile for $100 million, all because the guy called him, um, what did he say? Go to the New York Post article. He said, Grant Cardone is a con man and a BS artist, and he's not worth a, a billion dollars. Okay, something like that. You can go read the lawsuit if you want. But this is the part I was concerned with. Deeply concerned, guys, because I have a lot of videos on Grant Cardone. He says, additional warning. All YouTubers, influencers, podcasters, moderators, hosts on audio platforms, including guests on live or recorded social platforms, anyone who seeks the damage, blah, 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 uh, must be stopped from their vicious and damaging libel. Now, so we're here to talk about that. But I also want to use this chance because, you know, I haven't talked about Grant in a while. And I feel like it is actually time to remind the internet who this guy is because every couple years the internet's confused and I'll show you proof of that as well. But I've got two things on my side. One, we're coming with supporting evidence today. All the videos will be here, right? We'll, we'll show you all the posts. But also, <laughs> Grant Cardone actually made a call-out video uh, from us from like a year ago. He calls out me and my fans. He says, you know, everything. But I was really interested because I heard the first part of it and um, I actually realized it kind of blows a hole in his idea to sue people like me because he actually says that his haters drive him views. Well, why does that matter? Now, I actually think he was coping and seething in the video, but the reason this matters is because in order to do these lawsuits, you actually have to prove damages. And I don't know how you could prove damages when you say stuff like this. Steven, Steven man, look, big shout out, my friend. I want to give you a big shout out for sending Yo. me so much traffic. So many new clients, so many new customers. Bro, you're, bruh. Bruh. You're amazing. You're amazing. You pitch better than I do, bro. I'm serious. You're fucking the best. Okay. Hey, how can, if, if they bring me to court, I'm going to go, your honor. And I'm going to play that clip. Bruh. You're the best. You pitch better than I do, bruh. And it's going to be the, the judge is going to throw it out. So I'm just going to say that's why I feel very comfortable talking about Grant Cardone, despite him um, advertising the fact he's going to sue people who talk about him, right? Because I have my get out of jail free card. I do not recommend this to the vast public because you guys haven't been told by Grant Cardone how great you are for him. So that's just that. I think you all should know that. So, you know, I'll do this for you. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll take the heat. Um, and the reason I say this was, this all was so strange anyways, was because he actually, uh, advertised this post, which is a very strange thing to do. He's talking about a lawsuit that he filed. Normally it's not something to be proud of that you're trying to sue someone to silence them, but he's going, you're not. And also mostly because it was like the guy was insulting him with like schoolyard stuff. Like it's like, you know, Grant, you're this. You're th I think he called him short at one point. Uh, but look, and so this guy goes, Grant, you are literally paying to promote this post. John hurt you so bad. It's comical. But I think Grant's going for a bigger thing. He doesn't want people to talk about him. Now, if nobody's talking about him, what happens? This is what I worry about. What happens is the people who do talk about him totally misrepresent what we all hate about this guy. This is a recent podcast. Alex Hormozy gives his opinion on Grant Cardone. This is Chris Williamson. And um, I haven't given my full opinion on Alex Hormozy. Maybe we'll talk about him another time. But the stuff he says about Grant Cardone is so goofy, so ridiculous. It is straight out of the he's just a hater book. Anyway, let's listen. You've worked with Grant Cardone and a lot of people on the internet talk mm -hmm. shit about him. But as people who have worked with him directly, what was your experience like? So for context. So he goes on to talk about how he did a call with Grant Cardone, stuff like that. It's just sort of his personal experience. But the stuff I really wanted to talk about was where he gives the reasons for 
why um why why people hate him uh, find right and especially stories and experiences like they're the most valuable things because if i have a story i can get the lessons from the experience without having to go through it and so i always think those are the most valuable things of all and um but yeah i mean i think people will hate anyone who's 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 very big i was gonna say what what do you think what do you think it is that causes people he's to polarizing. have this he's super uh, polarizing i mean what He's just big and he's just polar. Okay, what does that mean? Let's hear. And he makes very, uh, you know, strong claims. He talks about money. A lot of people just hate anyone who talks about money. He has money. A lot of people hate people who have money. He. This is the stuff that drives me crazy. Nobody dislikes Grant Cardone because he has money. This is this is the like two, year two thousand level of analysis of like why do people hate us? They don't like us because we have money. No. That's not why. And I'm here today to set the record straight because I guess, you know, these videos that I've done about this are very old. So maybe no one watches them anymore. So maybe people are buying this like, oh, maybe they hate them because they're haters and they just don't like people with money. But um, I'm here to set the record straight. Please don't believe this. Or even worse, believe the idea that people hate Grant Cardone because Grant Cardone is like self-assured, which is the other idea that's tossed out here. And the other thing that happens with that is that you cannot, it, it, it causes people to feel uncomfortable seeing somebody that's that certain about anything because it shows into very harsh light. I, I don't believe anything that much. And this guy's talking about something which is pretty aspirational with yeah. that degree of um, confidence that I wish that I had. It's a good point. Yeah. No, it's not a good point. Let me break this down very simply. The reason actually people hate Grant Cardone is because he's a grifter. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is the way he uh, talks to people is to everything's self-interested. Everything's to make a sale. But it's under the guise of educating you, of teaching you things. But all the teachings happen to align with what he wants or needs in that particular time. Now... If you want to see some examples of this, this is Grant Cardone like 11 years ago, okay? He's an old guy. So one thing is, I think by the time you're this old, you should have your opinions. And why I'm going to say that is because you might say, oh, 11 years ago was a long time ago. Like, so maybe he's changed his mind instead of just being a grifter who changes his mind when it's self-interested. But I would argue when you're this old, changing your mind like massively on a big issue is kind of suspect, okay? Okay. Because what he's talking about is savings. He, this was a time when he was trying to be like the Dave Ramsey and tell people, hey, like you should do basic things like save money, which I think is good. I think for most people, that's a good idea. And this is what he says. So this, nobody's going to get mad at you for, no matter how rich you are, if you say this. It is hitting low standards again, two and a half percent. The savings rate in this country was over six and a half percent for 30 years. Now it's collapsed again. What are you doing? So this is Greg Cardone prior, you know, he is Mr. He's counting his pennies, counting his nickels. He's Scrooge McDuck and he wants you to be frugal as well. I was recently with a banker and my banker, I told my banker, he's like, hey, what do you live on every month? I'm like, oh, I live on this much money. He looked at me, he says, that's impossible. It is impossible <laughs> for a guy like you. I know where you live. I know where this, this conversation never happened, but if it did, it's even funnier because his banker's like, you're lying, Grant. And he's like, no, I, I live on like a thousand bucks a month. The like, banker's like, I have your documents. You don't. You know, another kind of lifestyle you got to have. I've, seen, I'm, I've, I've Googled you. Impossible for you to live on that. I said, no, I didn't, dude. He's like, Grant, I have your audited statements. Im nope, dude. That's what it is. It is what it is, bro. He's like, look, I know how much money you make, man. It's impossible. That It would be just ridiculous. I can't even think with it. I'm like, check it out, bro. That's what I live on. <laughs> That's what I live on. I just love that Grant Cardone was Scrooge McDuck until he was, what, 40 here, 50? And then all of a sudden he changes his mind. Now what is Grant Cardone's motto? Cash is trash, right? It wasn't back then. It was, I'm really concerned about your savings rate. Now that he's got a million products for you to buy, now that he wants you to invest in C Cardone Capital, now that he's got like every single stack of, you know, something for you to spend money on, now it's, oh, you got to spend money. You got to ke keep spending money, bro. This is why people don't like him. It's not like I'm dying. I don't need to spend a lot of money. I don't waste money. The money that I save is sacred. The money you save is sacred. 
I mean, let me just see if I can pull up a screenshot real quick. Um, <laughs> here it is. Money is sacred, guys. This is the new Grant Cardone. This is Grifter Grant. Now, am I accusing him of anything illegal? No. But is he a grifter, in my opinion? Absolutely. And so this is why. It's not because he's rich. It's not because he's confident. It's because of this. Okay. Help me out here. A penny saved is? A penny is a penny. Okay, your mama got real complicated here. A penny is a penny, and if you spend time with them, you'll end up with nothing. It's crazy how much he's changed. I actually put this compilation together like two years ago, but I feel like people still need to see it. When you watch pennies and nickels and dimes and quarters, when you watch that, you're going to pay attention to the bigger flows. People that are not disciplined with money don't end up with money. People that waste money on dumb things don't end up with money. There's something universal about money. Waste it, somebody else gets it. Yeah, and that somebody else, who do you think that is? Let's check in. So if you're down to your last $1,000, this, yeah. this offer today is nine ninety seven. grantcardone.com forward slash shark. Okay? Yeah. You're down, a guy's sitting there right now watching this and I'm, I got my last grand, dude, and I got Christmas coming. Should you spend it on this? Absolutely. I would tell you the same thing. Look, I'm so All right, dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why we hate Grant Cardone. Now, it's not just that. It's that um, I have actually a new clip that's wild where Grant Cardone basically tells salespeople to tell businesses to get themselves into debt with his programs in, because he can, they can just go bankrupt later. So he wants to like drive them further <laughs> towards bankruptcy. Um, and this is just, guys, whenever anyone is on a podcast and they go, why do people hate Grant Cardone? You hear answers like this. Please send them these clips. I can't be the only one saying this, okay? Just be careful he doesn't sue you. But it's stuff like this that people hate. They're thinking about it. Trust me, you need to bring it up before they do. They are thinking about, I'm going to bust out here. The unspoken objection is what's going to kill your deals. This is straight out of sell and be sold. Initiate the objection. If you're going to go bankrupt, you want debt, you want obligations, and you want contracts. Load it up, baby. If you're about to go bankrupt, get more debt. It's not, oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Then sign up. If you ain't going to make it, you ain't going to pay for it, dude. Let's say you're going to go out of business. You're in the furniture business. You're like, I'm done here. Okay. Well, guess what? That don't get you off the hook of living on this planet. You this is such bad advice. Hey, you're on the brink. Go further. Accelerate. Pour gas on the fire. Sign up. <laughs> Dude. So I, I don't want to repeat myself, but I feel like I have to. You know, the fact that people are still out here being like, hey, everyone online is hating on Grant Cardone. Why do you think it is? I don't know, man. He, he just has a lot of money. He's just so sure. No, dude. It's he says stuff like this. Okay? This you is crazy. You the business. No problem. You restart another business. So the way to play this is let's go ahead and give your business the best shot. You need training. You're going to need sales. You're going to need phone skills. You're going to need follow-up. Otherwise, it's going to fail. If we put it on a credit card and you fail, the bankruptcy court picks up the Visa MasterCard of the American Express. <laughs> You're just literally telling people like, hey, it is what it is. Now, look. Obviously, that's terrible advice. Stepping on the gas when your business is on the brink is a bad idea. And giving money to Grant Cardone is even worse. Most of this sales tips, sales trainer stuff, right, you can find it online, man. So Grant Cardone is just basically back to his old grifting habits. And um, yeah, anyway, it kind of triggered me when I saw people going like, oh, I don't know why people hate this guy. Uh, and it pissed me off that he's suing a bunch of people. And I realized that... Um, since I've made videos about him in the past and he says how great they did for him, I thought I'd make a few more um, <laughs> to talk about, you know, why people don't like this guy and why you shouldn't be fooled by these people selling you this like hustle culture um, kind of like uh, get rich schemes and stuff like that. Please don't buy it. Please don't buy their stupid things. Actually, listening to old Grant was unironically sort of a good a good idea, okay? Live like Grant pretends he lived, okay? Live like the Grant who talked to his banker, right? That's how you should live. Do what he actually claims he did instead of 
what he tells you to do now. Now he says cash is trash, but back when he was accumulating his money, he says he was living on basically next to nothing. He was counting his pennies because that's what mattered. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's basically it. Bye.